So the division series happened. Let's talk about it. I want to discuss the Rockies and the Brewers first. I picked the Rockies to win. Let's just say my predictions in this round weren't so good. Didn't you pick the Braves to win that series? Fuck off! First things first, let's show some clips, some highlights of the Rockies offense this series. I'm confused. That was that was a picture of nothing. What the fuck happened? What happened to the Rockies? Where's Arenado? Where is he? This man did nothing. Nothing. He's gone too. He is out of Colorado. He's done, man. Done. So that's that's a sad way to leave Colorado after how, all those amazing seasons Arenado has. That's how he's going to go out by doing nothing in the postseason. But that's disappointing, man. I'm I'm pissed. I wanted to see Arenado go off. He did the opposite. It's the thing. If the Rockies somehow magically fucking came back and won that series, like even if they won that series, if I fucking just said that, they, they didn't deserve to win that anyway. Like that, that that was just that was sometimes series series is end. And sometimes a team will win and be like, I didn't deserve to win. They didn't des deserve to win. The win. All right, man. Can I? All right, I'm going to get some water. Funny because the Rockies actually had decent pitching at times, and the offense. That, that's a buzzkill, man. That must be a buzzkill for every starter. I don't know what else to fucking say about this series. Only one fucking team showed up. So what else is there to say? I just couldn't fucking help myself but to look at the damn TV and be pissed off. Piss the fuck off. I wouldn't even necessarily say that the Brewers played amazing either. It's just that fucking, fucking team down the street in the local district squad could have beaten the Rockies in that series. I think that the Dodgers not starting Kershaw in game one was probably a very smart idea. Think about it though. Like, they had Kershaw starting game two. So, let's just say they lost game one. Alright, well, they had fucking Kershaw on the mound for game two. So I wouldn't say that's a guarantee win, but that's probably as close to a guarantee as you can get. And then they won well, They won game one, so then it's like, alright, well, we're about to go up 2 nothing in this series with no questions asked. Besides game three, man, how many hits they have off Kershaw? Like fucking three or something? Two? Game three when Acuna hit that grand slam. For one, that, that probably shouldn't have even happened because he was- He should have been on first base before that fucking pitch! Rio count! Fucking pitches up by his eyes! They call it a ball. Or they call it a strike, I mean. Of course, of course, the Dodgers come back and make it interesting, but Freeman, dude. Is there anybody in the league who swings better than Freeman? If any soul on this planet was going to show somebody how to hit, I'd show him a fucking Freddie Freeman tape. He's a fucking monster. Why did I pick the Braves to go to the World Series? I don't know, to be honest with you. Oh man, some teams, dude, some teams just, you feel like they have that magic around them. You know what I mean? Like, look at the Braves. They weren't even supposed to be here. They weren't even supposed to be in the playoffs and they show up. I have all this young talent. I was thinking they were going to go all the way. That was probably a stretch to say that they were going to beat the fucking Dodgers though. Like, I think they. I think if they didn't have to face the Dodgers in the playoffs, they they might. I don't know. Imagine if the fucking Braves had to play the Rockies or something. This is just making shit up in my own head. But if the if the Braves won and the Rockies won, I mean the way they were playing that postseason, the Braves, why would kick the shit out of the Rockies? Braves had a chance to win Game Four. They had a chance. That could have easily been a game five. And that's what that's what I'm saying, man. They just didn't get crushed. They didn't get embarrassed. That was actually a good series. Maybe the first two games, the Braves didn't do necessarily that well. But, I mean, game three and game four, the Braves played. They played all right. Where was Albi? Albies, man, Albies. Was Al what is that? Did Albies do anything either? Like, man, so that's what I'm saying, man. You don't have the players who are supposed to show up and do something, not do something, then what the fuck? As soon as the Braves lost game one, that was over. Because when Kershaw's pitching in game two, what are the odds you win that game? If the Braves won game two, they probably win that series. Is David Freeze not the postseason just slaughterer of postseason hopes? This guy comes in and just 
crushes hopes and dreams with his bat. I mean, that wasn't as bad as the Rockies and Brewers. At least the Braves had a fighting chance of coming back. Or at least making that an interesting series. The Rockies, man, what? I'm, I'm done with I'm done with that fucking series. I was, that actually, that made me heated. Now, this is something that I, I just, I don't know. I don't know if anybody saw this coming. The Cleveland Indians got swept. You know what really happened? Josh Donaldson, Edwin, and Arenado were all hanging out together while their teams were on the field. After watching Donaldson for a couple of seasons, some of those at-bats were the ugliest at-bats I've seen in a long time by anybody. This guy didn't stand a chance. He, he wouldn't have hit the ball if he came to the plate with a fucking paddle. He could have came to the plate holding one of those clubs from one of those little guys dancing around in Zelda. He wouldn't have had a chance. Same with Edwin. Where the fuck, man? Like, that's what, that's what fucking happens, man. Your fucking best players don't show up to the field. How the hell you have a chance of doing anything? Now, you know who did do something very, very well? Not for the Indians, but for the Astros? Marwin Gonzalez. Did he not raise his stock by that series, man? He might get some decent offers in the offseason. I mean, the damn guy can play anywhere in the damn field. What the hell? What in the hell happened to Andrew Miller? Who the hell's that guy? What the hell was that shit, man? Remember one, two years ago, man? This guy came out and it was just game over. Every game. Andrew Miller comes fucking waltzing out out of the bullpen. You might as well just walk off the field because nothing's being done. Now, it's almost like feeding time when you come to the plate when Andrew Miller's in. If you can even find the strike zone. I feel I, I, Again, somebody I was hoping to win lost. Big time. I'm just confused and shocked how the Indians didn't at least win one damn game. Look at the roster. Look at the lineup. That's just insane to me. I know the fucking Astros have... They have Verlander, they have Cole, Keichel, they have some good pitching, obviously, but man. The Indians don't have good bats. This is probably the series that everyone was literally rooting for the same team. Red Sox and the Yankees, or the world versus the Yankees. Before I even begin to say one thing about this series, can I just fucking say it? Because somebody has to. How in the flying blue fuck is Angel Hernandez allowed to umpire in any league ever existed? This guy shouldn't be allowed to umpire the fucking pickup game behind the grocery store. Let alone the fucking playoffs. He was behind the dish. He wasn't the fucking second base umpire, the right field umpire. He was behind the plate. Making calls. I just fucking ripping out your eye sockets and beating it with a hammer? What the fuck did I just say? How the fuck is this guy still in the league? He's a disgrace! Everybody knows it! That's why it's fucking weird! Every single human being, my cat, he probably knows he stinks! And I, I just don't, I just don't get it! Man, please, is, is he umpiring any more games? If he fucking umpires any games in the championship series, there is something weird going on. There is something very, very weird behind the scenes that we are not witnessing if he is even, if he's even in the building. What was that, what was that game three or four? No, game three. Right, was it, it was game three, I'm pretty sure. He was like one for six in fucking, what was it, challenges or calls? Is that not evidence enough? I don't get it, I don't get it, how he's even allowed to be on the field. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And it's like every fucking time he messes up calls, they just show his face. Like, it'll be the most obvious fuck, what was that play at first base? Where it was complete, it was completely obvious, the call. And he fucked it up, they, they make, the, they, they change the call obviously because he has no idea what he's doing, and then they show his face, he's just sitting there like, fucking smile off your face. I mean, the, the Red Sox went up and then the Yankees crawled their way back. Game one was actually good. I like game one. Game one was a very good game. Game two, on the other hand. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of game three. Game two. Man, oh man, you're fucking telling me that David Price, 
David Price. I think every single human being said this before game two started. David Price is going to get lit up this game. And what happened? Booing him off the field. He deserves it. Boo his ass. Tries to get some big fancy contract that he's... What the hell has he done since he's been in Boston? Besides argue with the media. Game three. Man, that was ugly. That was ugly. From the start, that was ugly. Like I was saying earlier, if you want to show somebody how to hit well at the plate, show them a Freddie Freeman tape. If you want to show somebody how to not hit well, show them a Stanton tape. This guy isn't even moving his feet. Just... The fuck is he doing, dude? If Kimbrel blew that lead last night, the Yankees are winning that series. The Yankees didn't play well up until that point. And then fucking Kimbrel walks whoever the hell it was, to begin the ninth on four pitches. I think one of them was a questionable call, but or two of them maybe, but still. I was fucking freaking out. I thought for sure somebody was going to fucking go yard. Gary Sanchez was feet away, like five feet away. From sending Yankee Stadium into a frenzy. I don't know how the hell that didn't leave, to be honest. And that short porch, everywhere is a short porch, left, right, and center. I don't know how the Yankees are going to beat the Astros anyway, even if they did win that series. How the hell? I mean, I, the Red Sox have a chance, in my opinion, but I don't know how the hell the Yankees would even stand a chance of beating the Astros. Because look who the fucking Yankees have as their starters. And look who the, the fucking Astros have. That's, that's, um, I, that might be all what I think. The topic of this, Angel Hernandez is fucking terrible. How'd everyone else like the Division Series matchups? Did your favorite team win? Did your favorite team lose? What'd you guys think? Anyway, that'll be it for this video. I'm rambling now about nothing. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, subscribe as well. What was... Oh, yeah. Anyway, see you later.